Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Chris and I'm a fourth year medical student currently studying at the University of Nottingham. Today's video is a very special video because I'm joined by my housemates. Uh, my name is Shrish. I'm Mila. And I'm Ayush. And today we've got a very special Q&A for all of you. <laughs> so the first question is, did you have a subject besides medicine that you wanted to study at university? Well, I actually wanted to be a police officer, I think at one point, but I realised I was probably not tall enough. So, how long probably. Did how long did you want to be a police officer? I can drop the aptitude, bro. How long did yeah. you want to be a police officer for? I don't know. I, it was, I, I considered it like with architecture, medicine. I got you at the UN as well. I thought about joining the UN. But yeah. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. Well, I considered being a lawyer. I just thought it looked quite fun from suits. That's about it. <laughs> <laughs> then I realised that law is nothing like suits. So I gave up on that dream. If only, if only. Uh, I, I considered maths. I just love numbers. I'm, just, I'm, I'm a numbers guy. I'm, I'm a numbers guy. Uh, it's a bit cliche, but I wanted to be an astronaut for like the longest time. <laughs> <laughs> then when I realised that dream was not the most realistic, I think I set a more realistic goal for myself. Uh, I, I'm Atta, and um, I, I mean, I wanted to be a footballer. I could still be a footballer. <laughs> yeah, nothing's stopping me. I just, Knee injury, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <That badly. laughs> All right, the second question is, do you have any tips for someone that's starting medicine as a first year this year? Don't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, to, to be fair, I think it's, you've just got to put the work in. Without you putting the work in, you're not going to get that much out of it. Yeah, I mean, do the work, but in first and second year, just like, take it easy. But pass, make sure you pass. Um, but and also join as many societies as you can. Yeah, I'm going to say, for most universities, first year doesn't count towards your final grade. So you might as well make the most of it and just go out, have fun, do whatever you want. And be safe during these coronavirus times. And be passionate in everything that you do. That sounds really philo philosophical. <laughs> so good answer, good answer. So I'm weird. going to say it's consistency over everything. Like Just be consistent from the start, little and often. Okay, the next question is, what's been your favourite year at university and why? Uh, for me, it has to be first year. I think it was like, for the longest time I wanted to go to university and then just to finally experience that um, was really amazing. Yeah, the nights out were most wild in first year. I liked second year as well because you you finally sort of found your friendship group and you can kind of get to know them really well. I'm going to say second year because first year for me was all about finding the right friendship group. Second year is when I actually found that friendship group and I was chilling with them for the entire year. I was living with my absolute best friends and we were just going out, having fun and studying a little bit on the side as well. <laughs> yeah, no, it's the same year, honestly. I think second year was so lit, like. It was insane, because especially like Milab said, you found your friendship group and like, you're just having fun. You mean us? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I echo what they said, but I, I really enjoyed third year as well, doing a lab project, being able to do some research. I found that really interesting. Coupled with being at home for half of the year, I mean, <laughs> what's, what's better than that? So the next question is, who is the messiest housemate? I don't, I don't know what you're Should we move on? We don't have a discussion. <laughs> it's, like, it's just not true. It's like objectively untrue. Well, Why yeah. is your wheel still there, man? You haven't had, have, have had an interview in the whole day. You can't, they can't see that. Alright, the next question is, what specialty in medicine would you guys like to go into? Yeah, I still feel like a wealth experienced student, so I think it's too early for me to say anything yet. I think especially with what's happened with the virus this year, where we've missed out on all of our clinical placements, it's quite hard to say. But... From the day I joined medical school, I always knew that some part of me wants to become a GP because I prefer like an office environment. I honestly have no idea. Like I barely have any idea what's going on in the wards at the moment. <laughs> like, I literally turn up and I'm just like, you're on the wrong ward. <laughs> but yeah, it's keeping me open mind. Uh, for me, it's got to be uh, doing sports medicine. Um, I've always loved sports, always wanted to do uh, be involved in sports and who knows I could maybe be a footballer that way <laughs> <laughs> so the next question is what is your favourite book to be honest I don't really read um, I need to I need to think of a book that I don't you say like the Anfield Weekly or something <laughs> Anfield Digest <laughs> let, let me just google some books here yeah. what are the like the main that's what's the what's the <laughs> What's that main uh, medicine one? Well done. Oh, um, uh, this is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt. Oh, right, Adam K. Yeah. 
Oh, hold on. Now, what was his? Uh, what was his second one? The night shift. The tour. The night shift before Christmas or something. Yeah, that one. All right. So next question is, what's your favorite book? I mean, I don't read that much, but I think it's got to be um, the night shift before Christmas. Yeah, 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 that one. <laughs> <laughs> so Definitely read that one. <laughs> no, no, I genuinely have read it. Right. He's lying. Uh, thought it gave quite a good insight into medicine and some of the stuff that gets looked over that you might not hear about. Fair. I think mine's the hungry caterpillar. <laughs> uh, like, He's still learning. Uh, yeah, every time I read it, it just makes me hungry as well. <laughs> yeah. So mine is the uh, Oxford Book of Clinical Medicine. <laughs> no, I, I don't read that much. I don't think I have too much time. But currently the book I'm reading is The 4-Hour Workweek by Tim Ferriss. Highly recommend that. Okay, so we've got three between the two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so the first one we'll talk about together. So yeah. it's Atomic Atomic Habits. That's Mine. a bit of a house favourite, I think. Yeah. Mm-hmm. James Clear. Um, I think it's a really good book about just being consistent, um, doing small things and building up to larger things rather than just trying to like go from zero to 100 in like one day. If you're struggling to kind of get into a routine and... <laughs> <laughs> just to remind you guys you can't read uh, yeah you know if you're struggling to get into a routine then you know read that book it's brilliant and um, the other book that I was going to say was Mindset by Carol Dweck um, but that's a really go- a good book it's all about how people deal with adversities and you know if you're an incoming medical student I think particularly helps a lot in terms of your preparation for a course where everyone's smarter than you. Um, I think my favourite book is A Guide to a Good Life by William Irvine. Um, it's not the most popular book, but it's basically about just performing in stressful situations. I definitely think that would be a good read for uh, incoming medical students. Okay, so the next question is, was Nottingham your first choice of uni? Uh, it wasn't my first, it's probably my last choice out of the four. Um, <laughs> Damn, no, it's, no, it's nothing uh, against Nottingham. Okay. I, I, re- I really enjoy it here. Um, but I've, I always wanted to go to London, go to Imperial. Uh, no, I think uh, I was either this or Birmingham, uh, but I didn't get an offer from Birmingham, so I had to, had to do that. Damn, <laughs> Birmingham's <laughs> lost, mate. Birmingham's lost. Oh, yeah. Sure, sure. For me, it was actually my second choice. My first choice was Imperial, but um, fortunately, I didn't get the grades for Imperial, so I'm here today. My guy. With the boys. With the boys. <laughs> Am I the only one for whom Nottingham was the first choice? Uh, Nottingham was kind of my first choice as well. Yeah, so for me it was like by far my first choice. I was like, you know, obsessing over Nottingham um, since a while back. Um, yeah, I'm glad to be here. I think for me, I wanted to apply to Oxford for like a really long time. But when it came to the actual application, I was just like, I just thought I wouldn't get in anywhere. Um, so I ended up like thinking Nottingham was somewhere I could get into and it was my first choice. The next question is, do you still Google your symptoms when you're sick? Yes, and the patients too. Bro, I'm gonna get struck off the GMC, <laughs> man. Wait, wait you know, anyway. you know, GPs Google the symptoms anyway. Yeah, exactly. So. You literally have a separate laptop for it. Like, <laughs> fine. Yes, I Google my symptoms. I've seen GPs do it, so I'm gonna do it too. Yeah, honestly, I'm the same, and I think most medical students are the same as well. We just get so paranoid when you got a cough. It turns out we all got cancer. Mm, Google doctor. My mom's a certified WhatsApp doctor. <laughs> All right, so the next question is, what is something that you've learned in med school that you were not expecting to learn? <laughs> so communication really is like the most important thing. Like everyone says it and like it's a bit of a cliche, but it really is like very key. I think going back to the last question, Google is the most important resource that you're going to get at medical school. I think one thing I've learned at medical school is just the importance of forming relationships with the right people. If you're just in the wrong crowd, you might not do enough work and get left behind. But luckily I've got this group of friends. And they'll motivate me to work more. <laughs> so cute. Sorry, yeah. um, well, you see, when I applied for medicine, uh, I didn't think there'd be any more interviews. So, like, I thought it was guaranteed a job. Uh, <laughs> apparently not. So, yeah. Got that going for me. That's something I <laughs> learned on the way. Uh, I think for me, it's more time management, being able to balance everything. At the end of the day, you still want a life outside, but you've got to be able to balance the work and enjoying uni as well. So the next question is, what would your stripper name be? <laughs> <laughs> I think a stripper name isn't something you choose. I think... Oh, client, yeah. 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 oh, we've got to pick the, everyone's stripper yeah. name. <laughs> yes. I think your clients should choose your stripper name. Should we do that? So. Alright, so, write down in the comments section below what you think all of our stripper names are going to be. Let me Google stripper names. Look, <laughs> look at your Tinder. See <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Who's to sing? Next question is, does pineapple belong on pizza? Start with the question asker himself. I mean, if you say no to this, yeah, don't talk to me again. <laughs> don't <laughs> apply to don't, me. Yeah, don't apply to medicine, yeah. <laughs> pineapple with some jalapenos on pizza. Yeah, no, I'm not a fan. Not a fan either. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just don't rate it. Like, I don't see the hype. Um, yeah, everyone is. Can I say on that side? All right, so the next question is, what is your best chat-up line? I mean, who needs a chat line? When you look like this. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> honestly, like, the camera doesn't do him justice, he's actually massive. Like, the sofa's like leaning. <laughs> <laughs> my chat, my go-to chat-up line is, uh, I take you to the art museum, but I lose you amongst the masterpieces. I was gonna say that yeah. one! Oh, I was yeah. actually gonna say that <laughs> one! Oh my god. Are you from Senegal? Because I've never seen a gal like you. Alright, <laughs> <laughs> uh, mine's is more of an inside joke, but I'm in heaven. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll, how about, like, are you from Paris? Because I felt for you. Alright, um, so I think my favourite is I'm not a photographer, but I can picture us together. Ooh. That, that would work if you uh, slid into my DMs. Just, just saying. <laughs> So the last question is, tell me your chili paneer recipe. That one goes straight to Miller. All right, well, I'm gonna put in a sneaky plug here. Um, follow us, Raj Paras Kitchen on Instagram. Link down below, above there. So somewhere. Somewhere, somewhere yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, For an upcoming post coming soon to a uh, phone screen near you. So that just about concludes this video. Thank you guys for watching and thank you guys for being in the video. No worries, man. Yeah. And make sure to subscribe to Krish's channel, like the video, and comment below. I'll see you in the next one. Awesome. Adios.